podcast. Hello, welcome everybody. Our discussion this week is going to be on Gamescom and QuakeCon 2017. If you guys are watching online on YouTube.com, you are watching the Intergamer podcast, and this is our discussion topic. I feel like an actual news reporter for the fact that you've given me actual paper to hang on welcome to. Welcome to have paper. The gaming Success. news. This Sorry. just in. Brett sucks. <laughs> Breaking news. I don't have any paper. The this Zerina is the only paper Nader I have. just <laughs> did something you know, stupid. stupid. Hurricane. Oh, shit. We haven't even given a shout out uh, to everyone affected by Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. Yes. Uh, best wishes. Best wishes. Holy crap. Yeah. That thing is a monster. Um, we're all Texas natives here. So anything happening right now uh, down south for us, our friends in Houston, there are some are affected up like in San Antonio and Austin and all that. So. Uh, best of luck, everybody. I hope everyone's okay. Yep. Yeah, we. Uh, yeah, it's definitely been a crazy, crazy hurricane. Category four. Mm. Category four. Why is yeah. everything bigger in Texas? <laughs> even the even the, the disasters. natural disasters. Even the disasters. <laughs> uh, yes. Serious. Um, anyway, so last week we had two big things happen. QuakeCon went down here in Dallas, Fort Worth. We went to QuakeCon, so we're going to talk about that in the latter part of the discussion topic. In addition, we also had Gamescom, which takes place in Cologne, Germany. I probably mispronounced that, but mm -hmm. that's where it's at. Mm -hmm. So that is basically that's right. the second largest game industry convention, I feel like, in the United States, in the world, I mean. Uh, E3. Is, no, Gamescom is definitely the biggest one. Well, in terms like, of like announcements, like industry announcements, it's probably the second because it's rare that they ever announce new games there as much as they do at E3. Yeah, like that yeah. makes sense. In terms of size, yeah, definitely Gamescom is like the largest. I mean, there's tons of games to play, tons of things to do. It's a huge attendance, but we should go. Um, yeah, we. we, we Austin's gonna go next year. I'll, I'll own, go next year. Out of his own pocket, it'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Good, good uh, luck. Good luck flying out. <laughs> if you want to support us, take going those. To Gamescom, uh, say go please. to yeah, go to Patreon and, and get all and those Patreon send it funds. Over. So, um, so anyway, Gamescom went down. There was a lot of announcements. Not a lot of huge announcements necessarily, but mm -hmm. some interesting things that came through. So we're gonna start with the new big announcements, and then go down into just quickly run through all the new updates and things from basically recapping from E3, things that were announced there, and continued news from those um, announcements there. So first up, I'm going to start with uh, Age of Empires, because yeah. we have Age of Empires 4 that has officially been announced by Relic Entertainment, which is not Ensemble Studios, which I think is crazy. It's but a little... A, a, a a bit odd to hear that kind yeah. of news out well, of nowhere. I was listening to Game Informer's podcast yesterday, and they were talking with the guy that works for Ensemble Studios, and Microsoft basically let them go and was like, we're going to shut your studio down and not, not shut it down, but... <laughs> shut it down. Not use you guys anymore. They made Halo Wars, and then they've kind of not been there involved with Microsoft as much as they used mm. to. Yeah. And then for mm. some reason, they had Relic to take over mm. that franchise because people are wanting more age of empires so age of empires 4 was announced there was Do a they? teaser trailer not I mean, a lot I'm okay not having it yeah you don't you, you wait not having age of empires yeah i mean it's cool yeah, i love age of empires so you good. love age of empires oh i've i've yeah i had a good time with the back in the day playing age of empires absolutely i had a great time back in the day too but do we need it now i don't know yeah i don't know I think so. The answer is yes, Austin. Do we, audience? You always Let us need know something. in the comments below. You always need something. Tell Luis, him tell Luis. him that he's wrong, please. Yeah. Louise, did you play? I think it's a uh Age of Empires, yeah. yes. I think it's a good time for it to come out. Yeah. Plus Company of Heroes is probably one of the most foremost RTS games uh in the world right now. Yeah. yeah. Everyone loves Company of Heroes. Solid. Uh Solid. it's like your MOBAs and then uh StarCraft and Company of Heroes is right there. Exactly. And um yeah, I think Age of Empires will be fun. Awesome. And they also announced Age of Empires 2 and 3 remastered. So if you guys remember the old days of Age of Empires, they're bringing that back in a remastered form. So Sweet. we're basically going to see a lot of Age of Empires in the coming years. So um, as of right now, Age of Empires 4 is going to be, I think, winter of 2018. So that'll be sometime next year. But cool. that's pretty cool. Um, on the same note, we also have Tropico 6, which was announced. This is a game where you play mm -hmm. as a dictator on an island. Typically, they kind of center around Central America and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. But you are a dictator, and it's a city builder slash political simulator. What, so what a time to come out. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. 
But it's not like there's been islands. civil unrest here in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. But um, have did any of you guys ever play Tropico? Mm-mm. Get into that? Yeah, I've played one before. It's yeah, which thing. one did you play? They're fun, dude. Uh, They're I think so good. I played the second one. Yeah, there's a second or third one. They're interesting. They have they're they've kind of created their own subgenre within that city building art. It's almost like an RTS, almost like a city builder, um, almost to the point of like civilization, but not as intense. Yeah. And strategic. Yeah, it's it's like a very relaxed Civ. Because yeah. Civ is the entire world and Tropico's an island. Yeah. It's still very, very cool though. And now it's archipelagos. Multiple. Ar- uh, archipelagos. Yeah, I probably pronounced that totally archipelagos? wrong. Archipelagos? Archipelagos? <laughs> I was thank you so much, Louise. Archipelagos, really, motherfucker? I mean, Ooh, hey, don't you like Lego building Legos? Legos? Basketball. That, that was like, that's a that's a great opportunity. If there was ever a series that Lego did, they could call it Archipelagos, and it's just all the islands of the world. <laughs> you can build like Cuba and Legos and all this hey, cool I shit. I would buy that. It'd be amazing. Yeah, the tropical games are fun. I think if you were ever curious about Civ but didn't want to dive too much into it, Tropico's the perfect game to play. Because yeah. there's a level of city building, there's a level of diplomat like diplomacy. Uh, there's also just a bunch of funny voice acting and oh, yeah, they they here and uh, there, so. that was gonna be my thing is I I like the 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 civ element to it, but there's also just a nice twinge of humor in there that's a lot of fun. So yeah, I I think they're great. So this is one that I think is a shout out to Louise and Devin specifically, but Secret of Mana. It is a Super Nintendo game, right? Am I am I correct on that? You are correct. That? Yes, Secret of Mana. They are remaking Secret of Mana. Oh, 3D. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, Wonderful. this was one of the coolest and most random announcements that PlayStation made. Yeah, but man, does it look pretty neat! It's I, I'm not entirely sure, and I can look at it right now. Uh, but I think this is being made by the RPG Factory. So Square Enix went, I think, and, you're right. Um, yep. basically bought up this little studio that makes old school RPGs. They're the ones who made um, uh, I Am Satsuna, and they're making a couple of other ones. I think they're also making that really cool. Uh, 2D, like 2.5D uh, RPG that everyone was up in arms about. I don't up in arms about, but super excited about. Uh, yeah, it's just the exact same game, same orchestra, all that kind of stuff in 3D. It's going to be super cool. It's, it's, it's going to be crazy awesome to being in 3D. Do what? It's coming to the Vita. Yeah, it's coming to the Vita, which not, is not even the Switch. You don't see many of those. Well, it's a Sony. It's being published by Sony, so oh, okay. it's like their <laughs> yeah. But their it's coming thing. to Steam. Like that's that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta love the PC, man. Got it. Got to give it to the PC. So that's coming out in 2018. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 is getting a PC port in 2018. But there's also something really unique about this. They are bringing out uh, next week, actually, on August 31st, DLC for Final Fantasy, where they're bringing together the Final Fantasy world with Assassin's Creed. Don't yes. know how I feel about that. Assassin's Creed. So you play as the character Noctis, which I believe is the main character. Correct. It is. It is. He gets a hidden blade, and he's <laughs> dressed in a cloak, and it can be an assassin within the mm. final. Can you hear my universe. eyes rolling? Can you hear it? Can you physically hear my eyes it rolling? Looks, it looks kind of cool, though. I mean, it, I, there's if you go check out the trailers, like it's it's interesting, but I don't understand why this is happening. So yeah, I hope the there's trailer. some kind of real like backing to what's why this is happening, but. Um, it's it's weird. It's different, but it's free DLC and it's for Final Fantasy, and you get to play. At least it's free. A little set. Maybe it's like You're a way to get like, what get you pay for. Assassin's Creed. So about five minutes of fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't think even five. But go on. Yeah. So uh, there's another game. This is a new IP that was announced. Bio Mutant by yeah. THQ Nordic. That was a really interesting trailer. Yeah. Um, I. It 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 kind of reminded me of um. Jack, uh, Jack and Daxter a yes. little bit, um, but also with just some real gritty, real. I'm gonna sound crazy. It's it felt a little Destiny, yeah, like interesting, like Jack and Daxter and Destiny, like had a weird, yeah, definitely some Jack child. and Daxter in there, and then yeah, De- Destiny, Destiny is just the, uh, just like yeah. some of the crazy outlandish art style. I don't know, right? To me, because the the main character is like a little rat or something. It. For me, when I first saw it, I'm like, dude, did Five will just go fucking crazy or something? Oh, the yeah. Cartoon rounds? <laughs> he went real west and he came back uh, real hard and, uh, you know, shooting people up with guns and stuff. But <laughs> he got to pit. This is by 
No, go ahead. Go for it. I was, well, was going to uh, say he got the, the pickle Rick treatment. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, pickle Rick. I finally finished that episode. It's so good. Uh, but this is by the same studio that did Darksiders. Yeah, so THQ nice. Nordic nice. was formerly, I forgot who they formed, probably just normally THQ, I guess. Uh, formal, formerly THQ. It looks a lot like that game. It uh, Someone, I think it was you, Brett, who pointed out that the cover art looks like Horizon and like Far Cry 4 mixed together. Yep. Gameplay-wise, it just looks like another Darksiders type game with probably a bunch more uh, nuance. Um I'm super excited for this game. I don't know at all what to expect, but I wish it was more stylized, like more artistic, yeah, less realistic. Did, did anyone say Rocket Raccoon? I mean, that's what no, it reminded me of. Did not. Yeah. yeah he definitely. didn't talk, so it's Still. not. Uh, I I I think Rocket any, Raccoon. Any, I think anything like that with a gun. Any small like, marmot animal yeah. is always going to remind me of Rocket Raccoon. No, he he, he didn't hey, talk, gun. and that's whole that's Rocket's deal. True, is he's true. smarmy. He's witty. I, I agree with you. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I did actually think that for a brief moment. And then it kind of faded away when I was like, oh my gosh, this is Horizon Zero Dawn with an animal. <laughs> it was it was a very strange I don't phenomenon. See it. But, but hey, you know. Yeah, what? exactly. Yeah. But cool. uh, so this is, uh, it also has some developers from uh, Mad Max, the game, oh, and then nice. Just Cause. So yes. those guys okay. are working on this, and right. so you might see some themes related to that. But yeah. um, melee shooter, action RPG, kind of those kinds of things. So that'll be that'll be interesting. Um, this this one has got me kind of really pumped. Again, it's it's weird. There were so many what what is this city builder announcements and things that are like simulation like games, but Jurassic World Evolution. It's from the developers of Elite Dangerous Frontier. And they are making basically Planet Coaster, but Jurassic Park. I think that sounds so cool. Like you manage a park, Jurassic Park, but you have to like deal with dinosaurs breaking out and like ravaging. I was gonna say like it's like, like, like let's not make believe that this is a sim. This is a I'm gonna make a park and then just shoot a whole bunch of dinosaurs as they escape because yeah. that's inevitably what's gonna happen because the humans are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna you send all your forces first. to like stop the dinosaurs. Yeah, just gonna, just gonna get obliterated. We did yeah. good. That's crazy. It was we pumped. We, we pumped a T Rex <laughs> full of five five seven. It was an amazing day today. It, it sound it sounds really cool. So it's um check out the trailer online. It could online. be fun. It could be fun. It's interesting. Elite Dangerous makes. I mean, Elite Dangerous was a fantastic game. Frontier. They know what they're doing. This is such a left turn for them. And um, I mean. People, this took people by surprise. They weren't expecting this thing to come uh, out, and yeah. that's what we got. So, cool. pretty cool. Um, Xbox One fans, they are making a Project Scorpio Day One edition. Literally, it's branded Project Scorpio because people love that name so much. Why not make a console with Project dude, Scorpio? Dude, it's on pretty it? cool, dude. Yeah, yeah it I looks, like that's it. Cool. It's like it's got the green font and everything. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Man. Did you notice the subtle hints on the box art uh, to the original Xbox? Yeah, they had, like the big Xbox X going on there. It looked like the case. And I'm then you so pull fine. It out I'm totally fine with that. Project Scorpio. Is that what you're gonna get? I might. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, how much more is it? I don't know if it is anymore. I don't. I didn't look. It'd have price. to be. I mean, I'm sure it's, it's, it's just, just a limited like a edition style. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just day one edition, but it's a uh, subtle cosmetic changes, but otherwise it's the Xbox. Still the one. Xbox One console. Yeah. yeah. Um. Last thing, Shenmue Three still is a th- still is a thing, guys. Good. They brought right. out a trailer. Very extended trailer, actually. Apparently, it sucked. Really? Yeah, people were not like liking the trailer. I think, yeah, they're not liking the trailer, as and also not liking the fact that it's still not here. <laughs> I, th- I think I think that this looks like is. shit. And I'm still not playing it. Like this is one of those things that they've been talking about <laughs> forever, and I mean they brought that Kickstarter thing out. It just came then, out this last or uh, last year, three a year ago, right? No, I mean they've been talking about it, I think like four or five years. But they did they just put the Kickstarter, didn't they? No, Last that year. was that's been a while. That was when they came out and Someone said that they me. were using money on top of Kickstarter. Right, right. Yeah. But then they put it up on edit E three and it like got funded within like three hours or something. I don't know. I don't know. Fact check. I thought it was last E three. I could be wrong. Yeah. No, I mean this is something that's been like in development for around five or six years, I think. Jeez. And I think they started a Kickstarter project. And then it ended up getting funded, 
And then they came out and said it was being published by a company. So then people were like, well, why did I fund this game if it's actually getting a publisher backing it? And so it was like independently backed by the people. And then it got backed by a company and it's still not released yet. And the trailer looks bad. And the trailer looks bad. I saw the trailer. It looked pretty bad. (laughs) So what you're telling me is there's not a whole lot going for it. There's still some fans. There's some fans out there that are really into Shenmue. And um, for them, they were ecstatic because they were like, they thought the game had died and now it's not dead. So that's a positive thing. You know, that's that's a good note for sure. But it could be dead. It could be dead. It could be dead. We don't know. Um, So that's the big announcements, which obviously, like, as I mentioned, like, they're not huge announcements, but there was a lot of content that came out. So now we're going to switch into updates and news that I think most of us are pretty pumped about we have some overwatch stuff we have some battlefield stuff things of that nature let's start with overwatch yeah there's three big things happening with overwatch Mm -hmm. a new map yep mercy's getting overhauled changed completely competitive mode is getting completely changed so can y'all help me with the mercy thing i heard about it and i know uh, the the revival is going away instead the revive ult so like where you can revive the entire team yeah revive it's gone yeah Hayden Stabnish. No, it's no longer that. It's she's gonna pull out her pistol and she's uh she's gonna click until the clip goes to empty. Like it's it's this super power up. She's got like berserk, a berserk flying everywhere. She can fly shooting now, everything. Completely. Yeah. So this yeah. is basically the hunters from Destiny. Maybe a little bit. So I get, the revive is still hmm. there, but it's transitioning into an ability that has a oh. long cooldown. So rather than being oh. able to go around and like so res an entire okay. team, right. you you use it, you revive a person, and then it takes forever to come back. And then their ult is now called Berserk, which gives you actual flying power. Like you're not just like floating through the air. You right. just you fly around. And you have the super powered weapon. You're stronger. All this stuff. So she's gonna be more. She's not gonna be just a healer. She's gonna be mm-hmm. a character that can actually engage in combat and utilize well, that more. There's so, more to it. It's actually yeah. not called Berserk. It's called Valkyrie, uh, which is oh, so much happened? cooler. <laughs> That's better. It, oh, it's super cool. Um, it's a 30 second ultimate. Uh, you can. You can damage boost your entire team. You can heal your entire team at once, um, but you can only revive one person. Uh, you get damage boosted, and uh, like like Brett was saying, it's a super long cooldown, but it's a 30-second ult, so it goes on until you die. You have an unlimited clip of ammo, so you can keep shooting people. But if you're shooting, you're not healing, and if you're healing, you're not shooting, or if you're damage boosting, you're not doing anything. So it's meant to make her more of a full support character not just a healer i got you yes uh but in the ptr people are going crazy with their play of the game mercy is now instead of reviving everyone she revives one person and then murders everybody I, else <laughs> i think yeah i think my favorite gif i've seen so far is um anna gives her the super dart and she just screams and goes super saiyan to like like super saiyan 3 and just charges it you just see uh reinhardt just sitting down starts crying like i wish i could do that <laughs> So okay, basically what you're this. saying is they should rename her from Mercy to No Mercy. Yeah, that would be it. Yeah, basically. That's a good one, man. Like Brett, that? Mercy. Like that? Yeah. That's the, oh, like, you're one for a thousand, but that <laughs> one was good. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, that's it's a very cool change. For a thousand. There's a whole bunch of changes coming to Overwatch, too. They're, I love that they're still, they're so, Blizzard's so, list, they listen to their community so much. Yeah. yeah. It's, in, it's incredible. I don't know about Junkertown enough, but... I have see, heard it's pretty cool, but some Australians uh, are a little bit mad uh, about it. From, from what I saw of it so far, at least from what I've heard, and this could just be straight rumor mill, but uh, the Junker Town, it's going to be a Junkrat and um, Roadhog themed escort mission. So I think a lot of really cool potential there. And um, those that's my boy, Roadhog's my boy. So I'm looking very forward to that. He wants to play Overwatch right now? No. I still do. Okay. I play it on PC now. All I do is play PUBG, so <laughs> there's that. If you didn't know already. <laughs> if, yeah, if you didn't know from the last seven podcasts where Austin talks about playing it. All right, well, what's next, though? What do we got? Yeah, so they also uh, changed competitive mode two months instead of three months, and there's some other things that are happening, so they 
rank you more accurately with your people. Nice. So that's kind of cool. And there's two new trailers out. Me and Junkrat and Red Hawk. That May trailer was really good. That May trailer got you in the feels, that man. That was good. I don't know why, where that came from. It was kind of like a sudden drop of trailer. But Both. it was a really good trailer. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't want to. I mean, Junkertown makes sense, makes sense cause it's yeah. like a new map and stuff like that. But like the May one was just a here's a story thing. Right. But maybe they haven't. Have you? But did they have a May trailer before that? Mm-mm. Okay. This is the first time May had a trailer. Oh, it was cool. It was very cool. Um, Need for Speed. They uh, announced they showed off cops. So this game now feels like more of a, a hot pursuit game, which is kind of cool. I'm glad that they did show that off and. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of new stuff to it. I mean, you have the EMPs, you have the spike strips, and instead of having a helicopter, they have some big, massive, brute SWAT truck thing that probably can like ram you so hard that you just blow up and die. That's that's basically that's what the police me. do. Yeah. yeah, but there, there is there is a moment it's in the very trailer accurate. where the guy is Travis driving yeah. in his BMW backwards, and then he does this like skid to switch around going forward and like weaves in and out of like. 15 cop cars that are coming straight for him. And I was like, this is worse than Fast and the Furious. Wow. <laughs> it's so intense. Um, but yeah, so they announced that stuff. So Need for Speed fans with Payback, more cops. And it looks interesting. All right, so next up, Destiny 2. We got some Destiny 2 happening. Dude. I think the I'm only the only one excited. excited. We can just say it. I'm excited. I'm excited for it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Oh, so just Austin's the only naysayer. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm actually gonna get it. Like <laughs> that's, I'm gonna I'm gonna get broccoli as a side, but I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna I'm like gonna it either. About it. So I have a question, I guys. Put cheese on that broccoli. I have a dilemma. They have the yes. four hundred and fifty dollar Destiny Two bundle. It's, oh oh oh! It's the PlayStation Four Pro oh. in white. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I know. I was like, <laughs> what? What copy of Destiny costs four hundred and fifty dollars? The one that Bless comes you, with the PlayStation Four Pro. So it's okay. white, and it's a PlayStation Four Pro, and it comes with Destiny. Destiny, and 1? I want to play no Destiny Two. Oh, okay, why is it white? Why is it gotta be? Because it's the light, the light of the white, white light. Yeah, light. I Destiny? guess I don't know, but it's white, and it looks cool, and I kind of want to buy it, but I don't know if want to. I don't know. Like I want a PS4 Pro. My, my, for, like, you're gonna better get visuals. that one. I'd say go for it, dude. I mean, if you're really wanting one, and do you have a 4K TV? I have one, the one that we're using here, but it's smaller than my TV in my living room, so it's kind of a weird dilemma. Do I want to downsize dude, my just screen? Just get it. Yeah, just, just get fucking it. get it. I have a 1080. You know, you want you want the P you want the PS4 Pro. Yeah. Obviously, you've yeah, said yeah. that. Yeah. You've got the TV capabilities in order to play on 4K. Just get the fucking. <laughs> just get it with Destiny 2 on top. Just do it. Just do Stop it. being just a little bitch. It. Just do it. Shit or get off the pot. Well, let me just do it right now. Yeah, kidding. fine. I'm not doing fine it live. right now. We're not doing it live. That'd be that's. I don't. I don't do We're doing those it live. Like, <laughs> decisions. Fuck it. We'll do it live. So Destiny Two, guys. <laughs> it's it's a game that's coming out. Yeah. It's got they they revealed the exploration uh, a little bit. Yeah. Some trailers and stuff like that where you can explore the world, get your adventures, go on quests. Right. If right. you haven't gone to YouTube.com/slash The Inner Gamer, you can check out. Our video yep. of Destiny Two impressions from Charlie Smith. Charlie Smith, yeah, it's not impressions awesome. is what he's expecting from Destiny Two. Yeah. Okay. It's a video on Destiny Two. Go watch it. Yeah. It's a video on Destiny it'll, Two. It'll prep you for Destiny Two's launch. So yeah, might be over here in these recommended videos that you're looking at. Right here. I'm sorry, that's over here now. On my face. Wait, it's not on my face because be. we make it smaller. Put a link to it on his face. So uh, put it when you edit. So it. I mean. Thoughts now. We've we've heard people talk about the open beta. We've heard people talk about the. I'm getting it. Okay, just, just. I'm not asking you. I'm asking everybody <laughs> I'm else. Just gonna get it. All right. <laughs> yeah. This this is obviously a day one buy. Um. I obviously. I, yeah. I, fuck that. I have hey, way too many friends who are gonna be playing this. This is this is a story I can get behind. Uh, if it's the if it's the gameplay that we were looking at by the end of the last DLC, then yeah, this game is gonna be a lot of fun. Um. I I think Destiny Two will be a a absolute hit uh come launch day we'll see we'll we're, we're going to have a whole podcast on just destiny we're just going to cover <laughs> it all are are you just so we're clear guys i'm still going to be a hunter i don't give a fuck are you are you getting <laughs> warlock i love the hunter what, what, I fucking love what him. systems are you guys all getting it on Round pc table. pc well it depends oh, so if if shit. we're all going to play together if we're all going to play together devin where are you going to get it i'm getting it i'll just go and say right now i'm going to don't <laughs> 
fucking judge me. I am buying two copies for Xbox and for PS4. And okay. Then for PC we'll play eventually. on PlayStation. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I, I might get it on PC, but I, I think when it's I'm like super to. cheap. Yeah, because yeah. I want to play it in sixty frames per second. I do like too. Really bad. But if we all play together, I'll get a. But if I get a PS4 Pro, yeah. it's gonna come with Destiny Ooh, 2. I'm a PC owner. I have to play in sixty I, I, frames I, per second. I, I have to oh, have a certain number of frames per second. I say that as I'm streaming from this awesome PC that I master race. It's awesome. I'm not a master race. I know. Brett, what are you gonna be? Uh, probably. Bang bang. PS4 and then PC. No, I mean like, what class are you gonna be? But yes. Oh, oh, Warlock, man, that's my shit. Warlock Warlock for days, son. Titan, Hunter. Yeah, it's a good round team. Was it four round team? Five per strike, strike team. I think it's still four. I don't remember what was it. Well, no, in strike teams it was three. Raids it was six. God dang it! Dang it! Now I don't. Well, look, we don't know. I I can't remember what they said about Destiny two. I don't either. Changing that, so you get one wow. more. You guys are so good at this. So I don't know. Good. I know. <laughs> I wasn't happy with the announcement uh, uh, press event they had. Oh, but I'm still getting it. So I think it looks cool. I mean, there's there's a lot of things <laughs> that they're doing right with this. I mean, the gameplay is still the gameplay. The you actually have a map when you're exploring the world. It's kind of cool. Thank you know? fucking Christ. You got, you got stories that come with. You don't have fetch quests that have <laughs> no story that say go get me ten things and then that's it. Go shoot ten they, of these in the head. Did they did they finally uh, burn grimoire cards to the ground? Yeah, yes. fucking hate those things. They are gone. There is story Here, in the game. Here's a cool card that you can only look at in your computer. Yeah. So dry. here's really cool story bits. Excited. Go read about it, nerd. Oh, yeah. If you want to see I us like burn our grimoire cards, you can go. <laughs> Whatever. Apparently, they said they have like actual story beats inside the world, which is kind of cool. So that's pretty good. All right, next Battlefield One. Yeah. Um. What, I, what is this guy doing? Over He's here? messing with his dog. My dog. Oh yeah, my, my dog. gosh, it's crazy. All right, so Battlefield You're One. Crazy. Uh, they <laughs> wow. brought out the trailer. I haven't heard that name in know, forever. Right? Uh, yeah. Name of the exist. Czar, map pack, new mode called Incursion Mode, and people are talking a lot about this. Really? I'm not. Cool. Yeah. Moving on. 5v5, small, intimate battles. It's here. It's happening. Yeah, I, I, I dig that. I dig that. The Crew 2 was dated for March 16th. It has boats, planes, cars, off-road racing in an open world setting. I don't care. It looks very... Uh, I'm, I'm, struggling, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm <laughs> struggling yeah. to care about the Crew 2. Yeah, I'm cr- sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I've like never... I, for those racers fans out there, I am excited for yes. this game. I thought the first one didn't do a very good job. I feel like this is steep with cars and racing and not winter. And I like that because steep was a good game. And I think the crew two will be a good game. So for all those naysayers that exist in the world, I am going I actually, to tell you that I have this to, is going to be a good game. I do have to admit something. I, on one of my random playlists I was watching about uh, like just one of my favorite streamers from IGN UK, they did Me? a... Um, uh, what? I'm just kidding. They did. Uh, someone played a let's play of Steep. And I just yeah. watched it just, just because yeah. I thought it was it. I was like, okay, that actually looks like a pretty damn fun game. It's good. I got to admit, it's good. It's, I'll admit. it's a blast. I still have it on my console for whenever I just want to jump in and do some snowboarding and just chill out on a mountain. Whenever Ooh. you feel like it's it. Good. Um, so next up, we got uh, QuakeCon, guys. We actually went to QuakeCon 2017. It was here in Grapevine, Texas. Basically, it's the biggest land party in the United States. Massive, tons of PCs there, tons of stuff happening. It's ridiculous. New location this year. They funneled everything into one big room. So you had like the land party stuff going on. And then you had in the same set, in the same room on the other side of the room, you had the competitive matches that were happening with Quake Champions. And then you had a couple of people that were showing their games, like yeah. five, maybe. Well, they, they had the new Colossus, Evil Within 2. Uh, the uh, Bethesda oh, game? games. Yeah. Uh, they had it, Dark- uh, uh, Dishonored to thank you the DLC. Death of the Outsider. Yeah, that's something it. That's I think. It. Yeah. Um, and they had all the VRs there. And they had all the VRs there, which I was surprised how small the VR section was this year. Like they just had a little corner. Yeah. That had three little rooms Remember that you could E3? play VR. They had like eight. There was no ten. lines this year, hardly at all. Yeah, there's no. It lines. was insane. This is the smallest. QuakeCon, I think I've been to. Yeah. And we've been to two other ones. So. Like, I was going to play Wolfenstein at E3, means. and I jumped into a line, 
and I was like, this line is way too long. They're going to have it at QuakeCon. And then I walk into QuakeCon and I walk up to a computer and I start playing QuakeCon or start playing <laughs> Wolfenstein. Was no wait, nothing. No wait. Just waltzed right on up. Just walked right up to the computer. Did you shove another nerd out of the way? Get out of my way, nerd. No. Press pass. No. Press pass. Press pass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that press pass doesn't do a whole lot at QuakeCon. <laughs> yeah, it does. I wish you could have a press pass for just life. Yeah. I know. Uh, sir, you have to wait in line to go to the restroom. Uh, press pass, press, press pass, pass, press pass. Press pass, press pass. Press pass, press pass. Um, you film someone taking it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. Uh, Wolfenstein. We played it. Me and Great. Austin. Amazing. I cannot wait for this game. If you love the other ones, it's like times 10, it seems like. Characters are great. Dialogue is great. Who wants to shoot sci-fi Nazis? Oh, there's nothing more gratifying than shooting Nazis in a video game. I mean... But then this is shooting Nazis in a video game in a wheelchair. Yeah, true. So you're even more <laughs> of a badass because you're in a wheelchair... Disabled. ...shooting Nazis. And you're kicking ass, killing Nazis. Yep. Yeah. It's great. And they're, like, in, making fun of you, these the only good Nazi, Nazi people. Only good Nazis Nazi. And it makes you want to kill them even more. I mean, they do... Like, it's, so te- it's so technically topical, too. Yeah, <laughs> when it actually comes around, yes. people are still gonna be like thinking about that. They're like, "Man, I wish I could kill some Nazis. Wish I could hurt some people." And then, boom, what, Wolfenstein. What this you is, can do this it. This is all a PR <laughs> event put on by Bethesda. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Dude. Yeah, no, I can't but say that because that's ga- pretty, gameplay that's pretty is really strange. solid in this game. They still have the old like you go around, pick up your armor, pick up your health, uh, pick up your weapons and stuff like that. That's all Those there. Generations for pussies. I know, man. right? And uh, it's 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 fun. It's fun. Very smooth. Very clean. Uh, uh, I love it, dude. Can't wait, man. It's gonna be. A it's gonna be a blast. Game. It really is gonna be a lot of fun. Who played Evil Within two? Anybody? Or Evil Within? I didn't, just I didn't, the first one. Well, I played the first uh, one a little I, bit. I got an hour in on Evil Within. I was not keen on it. Right. Same. I was not. It didn't run well when it first came out. Um. I. Well, That's why I stopped playing. I it. Think, yeah. I think the. Part that I was just so frustrated with is how much they tried to push the stealth mechanic of hiding in places. But I felt like no matter what I was doing, it was like no matter where I went, if I was like in a locker or in like That's a cut. Co- oh, it didn't. It did. Dude walked right on over. It was like, oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> him. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, I'm okay with the game being hard, but don't be unfair about it. Like, right. right. If I know for a fact that I broke line of sight, went around really quickly, snuck in there. Got in that locker. You ain't finding me in here. Blah. Anyways, <laughs> coffee break. So what I didn't know is that the guy who created, if I'm not wrong, the first Resident Evil actually created this one. Mm. So I, I'm pretty sure he created the series, and playing this one felt very much like Resident Evil 7 mixed in with Resident Evil 1, where you're like in Raccoon City and stuff like that. Except you're more in like this... I, I, it seems like you're in this bubble of craziness and like the world around you is being torn apart, like the actual ground in the city. So you have like the city that's like two miles up in the air, upside down angled at you. And you're in this one part and you're like, I got to fucking hurry before the, for everything is just obliterated, which is kind of like uh silent Hill. Mm, yeah. In a way. So it's really cool. I liked it. Um, if you like scary games, this seems much more refined. Yeah, the mainstream. So hopefully, nice. I was gonna play it, but then they told me it was a forty-minute demo. It was great, and the forty minutes had just started for the people in front oh. of me, and I did not want to wait in another three hours 40 of minutes. traffic. Oh, so mm. I I decided not to play it, but right. it's. I mean, I'm, you should have. I'm, I'm pumped about the game. I think it this this one might be worth picking up. Um, Dishonored two, Death of the Outsider looks good. Nice. So nice. And then um, we also have uh, the VR games, Fallout 4, Skyrim, and Doom. They've been dated. Skyrim VR comes out November 17th for PSVR. We have Doom VR coming out on Vive and PSVR December 1st. And Fallout 4 VR comes out December 12th and will all, only be playable on Vive. All December 20, all in 2017. Yeah, all in 2017. Coming out soon, finally. I didn't get to hear any about VRs, it. so I don't know how good they are. I just assume. Well, I'm just going to get them because I love all those games, so... Of course you will. Of course you will. Um, be nice and uh, be a, be a nice experience when you're walking through in Fallout Four, and then when a mall rat jumps out of the ground, you shit your pants. No, oh, the ghouls, dude. That's where it's at. Yeah, because in the demo they have ghouls come at you. Oh, dude, they're like six and a half feet tall. I'm just like, oh god. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you have to reload. You're like, ah, 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 ah. it's just a little. It's immersive. crazy. Just a little bit. It's you know. pretty. Surreal. Just, a, just nice. a slight bit. I'm in. 
Um, there was another game there that I played that wasn't a Bethesda game called At Sundown. It's a couch co-op four-player game, and you're in this top-down arena area, and everybody spawns in, and you can't see them. They are invisible. And you move around the map, and then whenever you shoot, you shoot out color of bullets, and it creates, like, illuminated light, and then it reveals yourself to the players around you. So... It's an interesting gameplay mechanic for a four-player co-op game, and I was really, really intrigued by it. I played it for about, eh, I'd say, like, it was two or three rounds, so there was about 10, 15 minutes of time, and I tried to inquire if it was coming for the Switch. I did not get a straight answer, but I didn't get a no either. It was a, I can't say it won't, but I can't say it will. <laughs> so basically, it's coming out for the Switch, probably, yeah, but we don't really Switch. know, because they haven't announced what console it's coming for yet. That'd but, be all coy? Oh, the Switch? Maybe. Maybe so. I don't know. But uh, it's a really neat game. Cool gameplay mechanics. There's some maps where there's like lightning that flashes that illuminates people on the side of the map. Or um, like a light will flicker, which shows people that are traveling through. So the only way you know how to shoot somebody is obviously seeing them. So you could like traverse around the entire map, be completely hidden, and then see a color flash up right next to you and just be standing in a corner and then shoot and pop the guy as he like walks past you but it's but how do you know where you are you, you can uh. you can tell based on you have to know where you start so when you start they show a flash of color of where each player starts okay and then after that it's up to you to kind of navigate that's bonkers it, so Anyways. you can see like if you start going to the right edge of the screen and everybody else is on the left edge you'll see the camera zoom out away from it oh. because you know it's expanding okay. that same screen outward right so you kind of have an idea of where you are but not really um I see that. <laughs> it's it's interesting it's a cool game it's very very visual um lots of good colors and, st and atmospheric and stuff like that so i'm right. excited to see right. more from this it's a great idea i, I want to play it yeah um i think that's all we got that's it we can oh man that was <laughs> that sorry. was some anger right there. That was just like hit screw myself. this. You hit yourself with the papers. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I can't throw. Them. I don't have any papers, Brett. You need to send me the papers and. You could have mailed me. them to him, <laughs> Brett. Yes, I know. I, I was stupid. Snail you know. Mail. You know what? I actually, stupid. I actually did mail them, but the United States Postal Service did not get them to you in time. So, uh, Sue. sorry. It's in the mail. What? Is there like? Is there like a hurricane or something? Like why? Why can I get it, bro? Why too soon, bro. It? Way I mean, too soon. There is a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy <It's> happening. Dude. <clears throat> um, right sounds like you guys right? had a lot of fun though. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty cool. We weren't there for as much as we wanted to be, but it was it was neat to check it out. And there was a lot of badass rigs there. A lot of people playing PUBG. A lot of people playing Overwatch. Um, ah, PUBG, Rocket League. People were still playing that. I was like, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> like, who are these people playing Rocket League? I've ascended again. Yeah, so pretty nice. awesome. <laughs> check it out if you guys have any things that you want to talk about related to Gamescom, let us know in the comments below or hit us up through hello at thegamer.net through our email there. and type it out. We'll chat about it. And if you're listening to this, make sure to go over to youtube.com and check out this video that comes up every Thursday. I'm sorry you have to look at my face. Yeah. So if you want to see our beautiful or, mugs. <laughs> you're telling me, man, I'm a little pip. Like, I, I don't know what I'm going to be this week. I might be like a little square like this or the full square. Oh, the whole and thing. I'm going to be right here, I think. I'm sitting in that chair. I'm right here. You're right there. It's yeah. That chair. <laughs> oh, yeah. You should just tape my face onto that chair. Yeah. I think we will next time. Or, or Devin should learn how to be a... Or you don't even have to be a ventriloquist. You can just grab me in a puppet form and just go... Mah. And then as I'm talking, you're just doing Ma, this. I'm Luis. I'm well read <laughs> and very well spoken. My name is Luis. Ma, I live in Austin. Ma. <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Ma. <laughs> the joke is over, Brad. Why is it ma? Ma. ma. Every time y'all do something, Brad happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, the greatest. I have been. It's awesome. uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. No, we are, we're already done, man. It's already been cut. It's just like, fuck you. Cut. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>